Hey everyone. So we are going to come in with a little Hades Star action today. And uh, I've been playing the early access testing for Dark Nebula, which is the expansion coming out for Hades Star whenever it's ready. I just unlocked my Red Star Scanner level 5, as you can see. And so we're going to jump into a Dark Red Star here. This is the new game mode or one of the new game modes that's coming with dark nebula it is essentially a hard mode for red stars uh, so the enemy forces have more hit points they do more damage and the rewards are proportionately much greater so let's get this scan started and see what happens um, i have never done one of these before in fact i have seen a couple screenshots that others have posted who got there before me um, but I've never seen a video of one of these, and I certainly have never done one <laughs> since it's new content. So I don't entirely know what we're getting ourselves into here. Hopefully it turns out to be a good time. Um, I'm hoping to see how my current build works out. So you can see I've got ships with uh, battery level 4 with regen shield 1. Everybody has remote repair because I'm just not sure how much repair I'm going to need. And then... Um, Two of them have EMP. I'm hoping we'll use that for resetting the Colossus laser. I am not sure what the ramp looks like on enemy lasers now. They did get buffed for players. Um, and that other ship that you saw was uh, equipped with Fortitude. That is my Blue Star ship. So probably not ideal. I doubt very much that, uh, that that ship would be able to survive just sitting there and eating the laser from the Colossus. All right, cool. Uh, planet right here. That is awesome. And my croids literally all the way across the map, as far as it could possibly be. You know what's not happening this run? That. But hey, let's go in, take care of the Sentinel first. And then uh, what I'm going to do here is to aggro the Interceptor and actually uh, probably take it back to my gate and just deal with it there away from the Colossus so that I'm not trying to get that taken care of with the uh, Colossus laser on me. So hopefully it'll wake up here. Come on, buddy. You can do it. No, that's the wrong ship to wake up. All right. We're going to... Oh, hey, there it is. Nice. All right. Cool. So um, we got the Interceptor going to chase us back. At level four with two battleships, I noticed that regen shield is really nicely tuned in shield strength so that uh, two battleships against one Interceptor... Uh, the int will basically deplete their shields, but not really get into their hull in about the time it takes to kill it. So let's see with the higher level stats that you saw a minute ago there, will that work out pretty much the same at level 5 with three ships? And yeah, it looks pretty close. I think my shields are just going to run out right as we pop it. Perfect. Um, if you didn't see there earlier, it does have six targets instead of three. So uh, that's definitely going to be punishing for grouping up with other players, unlike the regular difficulty interceptors. All right, let's come on up, get this Colossus over here. And <laughs> the other big question here is, how long is this going to take to kill, or how long am I going to have to keep up this chatter? The regen shields, for those who don't know, uh, have been reworked quite a bit in Dark Nebula. So they... Come on, dude. You can do this. Come on over. All right, there we go. Uh, so the regen shields start regenerating after only 8 seconds without damage now, and they reach full capacity in 20 seconds. But their shield capacity is much, much lower than the old passive shields. There's our Colossus stats, so you can see those. And how are we doing? All right, so it's eating through the shields pretty fast, but it's not crippling. We'll just use that EMP to reset the laser. And then uh, now we just start rotating. It'll take some work, some practice really, just to figure out the timing of flying ships in and out so that hopefully the one with full shield is always eating the Colossus laser. We just want to keep it switching targets, you know, interrupting that laser ramp up damage. I'm struggling a little bit here with ship order. I definitely have not worked out all the mechanics with the new speeds and the new timings yet. I'm definitely thinking that fortitude is not going to work here. If you had an Omega shield, it might. Uh, the 
the low level Omega shield got buffed a little bit. So it has quite a lot of capacity. But um, there we go. So let's, let's try to get this rotation going. I feel like the timing should be just right that uh, I can fly one ship in and out while the next one is at full capacity. The third one is regenerating, so I should always have like one ship fleeing, resetting the laser, one ship at full shield eating it. But let's just hit a repair to be safe. All right, so uh, this is going pretty well, actually. I've got through its shields. I'm almost halfway through its hull now. It seems like module levels are definitely fine. You could probably make this work with battery 3 if you really needed to, but it would take a long time. I'm already almost five minutes into the red star, you can see here, and I haven't even cleared one planet yet. That's a far cry from what we're used to at RS-10 or 11. Yeah, I'm still struggling to get the uh, the ship timing worked out so that I have two shooting every time. I'll just bring him over here. And <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything about ghosts. Now I'm paranoid. Like, God, where are my supports? Do I have boys sitting at my gate? Oh, where are the ghosts? When are they coming after me? No, everything is fine. This is hard mode. The numbers are a little bit higher, but it's not mechanically different as far as I can tell. It's just, you know, more damage, more health. Um, have to be a little bit more mindful on your tactics, but it doesn't seem to require anything qualitatively different. So I think, at least at these lower levels, that's really a good thing. I could see it making sense to where a new player who doesn't already know what they're doing would do regular difficulty a few times, kind of figure out how the mechanics work, learn how to manage the enemies, and then be ready to come up into the dark red star and not find it that much harder. And here we go. Up. Yay. All right. It is time for loot. Let's see what we got here. All right. So four artifacts. Nice. And you see that 50% research bonus. So that's one of the huge perks of the Dark Star mode is that you get uh, that 50% bonus to the artifacts. The Croid is also worth 50% more credits when you go mine that. So that's cool. All right. We'll bring up our transports, get them loaded up. Uh, I would love to mine that hydrogen near my gate, but that that uh, Guardian's just close enough that I'm not feeling good about it. But there's another planet right up here. Um, so that took six minutes. A little of that was me wasting time. But that means we should have time for another planet, so let's go do it. We'll send in our boys, Biggs and Wedge and Watts. Get this loaded up. Something else that you might notice is in Dark Nebula, uh, most of the recharge times for the support modules are a lot faster. So I've already got my EMPs back or pretty close to it. I've already got my re repairs back or pretty close to it. Um, so it seems like it's intended to not really have downtime between planets or to not force players to use time warp just to reset their modules. So that should introduce some uh, some changes to the builds that we're used to. And now I'm basically going to do it again. I'll try to get my cycle timing a little bit better for this one to get through my shield, eat a little bit of hull damage, reset, repeat, and then fly the ships back and forth. We're going to go ahead and hit those red star extenders. I just wanted a little bit buffer, feel a little bit more comfortable with more time on the clock. All right, out and in. Took a little bit of haul, but that's fine. I've got repairs on tap. We're already through the Colossus shield. So yeah, honestly, this feels very doable. I feel good about this, but it is also um, a little bit more challenging than, uh, than a regular Red Star. So for the veteran players, I think we'll appreciate that as well, just having something a little bit more difficult to work on. So I should probably move a second ship out of the way because otherwise he's just going to take the laser before he's fully charged. And I was slow because I was thinking about what to say and everything is the worst. Uh, this is going to be the challenge with working out the cycling on the ship timing. It would, uh, it would be easier if I had the Colossus parked on the left. So I might have to figure out how to, uh, how to manipulate the movement a little bit to get the Colossus on the left that way the ship that's been parked at the planet the longest is cycling toward it 
as we move the other guys in and out. Other than that, this seems um, seems like we got it worked out pretty well, so that's cool. I should probably be mining. Always need more hydrogen. Oh, this guy's just about done. I don't even know why I hit repair there. I guess I felt like it. One of the things that we'll have to test out after bringing these artifacts home and researching them is um, what the numbers look like on salvage. Salvage has been reworked quite a bit. Um, it gives a flat heal instead of a percentage heal now. And it is divided by the number of friendlies in the sector. So um, remote repair with its shorter cooldown is probably going to be a lot more popular for people who want to... Um, you know, have a way to refresh their hull. All right, let's get these guys back home because we need to empty them and bring them back to load up that sweet, sweet, sweet loot. There's no way I'm going for that croid up north. It's so far. But we'll get our loot. We'll get it stored away, bring back in the transports, and uh, keep going. Not really sure what I might do differently at this point. Once I get some new modules researched from level five, um, I'll have suppress on tap also. It looks like three repairs was really overkill. I just wasn't sure how much damage that thing was going to inflict and um, how, uh, how difficult the trash sectors are going to be. That's going to be one thing that we really have to get used to with the new setup is uh, dealing with trash sectors without taking a lot of hull damage because salvage just isn't gonna cut it. <laughs> they won't be refills, they'll be more um, like attrition sectors rather than anything, which is fine. You know, I'm totally up for shaking up the tactics, trying something new. All right, we don't have four artifacts on that planet. I'm not gonna bother clearing it for salvage. And it's like, I could have been mining that all along. The Guardian was out of range, but I was scared and I was worried. And also, like, ghost paranoia is so real for people watching this who are doing Red Star 10, Red Star 11 in original Hades. You know, like, <laughs> leaving squishies unattended is just asking for it. So I I haven't quite broken that mentality yet at the the lower levels in the new game of, like, it's okay to leave my miners without a babysitter it's just too close. I don't know. I'm freaking out. I'm convinced like somehow, somehow the serves will come after me. I just need to get that thing out of the way. Wanted to grab the hydrogen off that North asteroid, but I'm like, it's a little uncomfortable. It'll be fine. Well, at this point, I think uh, we're just going to do as much mining as we can and then clean up and get out of here. By the way, the detail on the ships is really nice. I actually like the changes in graphics you can see here that I've zoomed in. Um, the Colossus has uh, just more texturing, more line work to give the hull a little bit of sense of depth and contour to it. And I honestly think that's really nice. Um, I know some people do like the original graphics because they are quite stylized and I agree with that. I like the sort of level of abstraction that the original graphics had while still being aesthetically pleasing. It gets you out of that zone of having to worry about the graphics aging, you know, like, oh, I used to think that this looked so good, but now it's a few years later and art has gotten better and this looks so bad. And when you have those really stylized graphics, you don't have to deal with that problem as much. It has more of that timeless quality of being a little bit more abstracted. But I think what uh, the art team has done here with the changes to the ship details is really nice. It still keeps some of that timeless, simplified aesthetic look, but there's a little bit more detail, a little bit more texture. It just, uh, I don't know, the ships pop a little bit more compared to how flat they were before. So I think they've done a really good job compromising on keeping, um, you know, keeping their aesthetic going but still making it a little bit richer well i suppose we don't really have to just sit here and watch me mine for the next minute i, I think i've run out of useful things to say at this point anyway but uh hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you got something out of it if you're playing dark nebula then maybe we'll see you in red star 5 soon um and if people want to see any other content from dark nebula whether it's you know guides explainers sneak peek kind of stuff 
um, then I'd be happy to make more videos. So just get in the comments, let me know what you found interesting, valuable, what you might like to see next. And um, yeah, get that info back to me so that I can make videos that you will enjoy and watch and appreciate. So thanks for coming along. I hope you had a good time. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one. So have a great day.